All right, Bucky, we are at the halfway point of the season. It is time for us to name our Move the Sticks midseason all-rookie team. Look, we're going to let you take care of the offense because you like the quarterbacks. You like to see the ball fly all over the field and people <laughs> score touchdowns. I'll worry about the defense. So since we're talking about offense, and it always starts with the quarterback, who's the quarterback on your rookie team? Well, I look at the quarterback for me, and this is a decision. You look at Dak Prescott. You've also got Carson Wentz. They just played each other, <laughs> so I let that kind of be the tiebreaker for me. I end up going with Dak Prescott, Bucky, but you can make a strong argument for Carson Wentz as well. When we look at the tape of Dak Prescott, though, Buck, a couple things jump out to me. Every single game that I watch him, I feel like I see the same things. The poise is always there, and that's not just the poise to hang in the pocket. Here you're going to see the pressure from Vinnie Curry. He's got to get outside of the pocket, but he doesn't panic. Keep those eyes downfield. Look at him square his shoulders right here to the right. Perfect mechanics, sees the field, and delivers the strike. So it's making things happen outside of the pocket, Buck. But one of the other things you see from when you're going to keep him in the pocket, he knows where the matchups favor the Dallas Cowboys. In this case, you look at Dak Prescott looking on the outside and seeing Des Bryant one-on-one -on -one with not a lot of help there, Bucky. That's a no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely. You want to target your big body playmaker. Des Bryant is better than most, the overwhelming majority of receivers in the league. He gives him a chance with a perfect throw along the boundary. So you hit a big play outside the pocket, you hang in the pocket and make a big play, but uh, now i got to take care of the running back position. Yeah, you got to take care of the running back because Zeke Elliott leads the league in rushing. What do you see from him? Why is he on your list? Yeah, I don't need to, uh, to really defend this choice. Watch him press the line of scrimmage here, Buck. The vision, you see this from him consistently. Quick little lateral jump cut. Hit him with a stiff arm. This is just showing off all your tricks here because you're going to finish this run. This is... This is just showing off at this point in time, Zeke. Come on now. You don't need to do this to another player. Uh, but, the Buck, when you watch him, you see so many special things. But to me, it all starts with the vision and the strength and the power that he brings to the table. Watch him here. Runs to the left. Could try and cut this thing all the way back. He'd have to beat that free defender on the edge. Instead, he's patient, and he's going to slide right back up the middle. Breaks one tackle there. Somebody, let, let Hicks hop on for a little seven, eight-yard ride. So it's that vision and physicality that he brings to the table. Really a no-brainer as the midseason rookie at on the uh, at the tailback position. He has all the tools in the toolbox. He has power, strength, balance, body control, can catch the ball out the backfield, and he's physical in pass protection. He deserves certainly to be the number one running back on that list. But who else deserves to be on the list when we look at the rest of the positions? Yeah, we've got uh, nine more positions to go through. Let's just throw a board up and we can get through it that way. Yes, I have a fullback on here, Andy Janovich. Over, over Watt, he ended up making it. I had a tough battle there at fullback. Michael Hunter, Thomas, how about that? Hunter Henry, tight end's been great. Michael Thomas, you mentioned, and Tyree Kill, who's really coming on for the for the Chiefs. So that's a good group of skill players. Offensive line, Buck, look, I, I fudged a little bit. I just wanted to put the best five guys down. <laughs> I didn't worry so much about position because Tunsil's played – he's just played that one game at tackle but been primarily a guard. Conklin's been great at right tackle. Joe Thune, Tooney's done a nice job. White hair has been solid inside. And Ryan Kelly, he comes into that fifth spot. So there you have it. There is our offensive midseason all-rookie team. You mentioned you got to do the defense, but we're not doing it on this video. <laughs>